before we get into the basketball stuff, how, how did this game come apart? Obviously, it's pretty cool that you can give Wayne like, State an opportunity like this, but uh, did that play a role in your history with that? Oh, no question. I've, this is, I think, maybe the third time we've played them since I've been here. Um, you know, we're going to play a Division II team, and generally I, I play somebody that I have a connection to, whether it's a former player or former assistant uh, or Wayne State where I coached. So, um, you know, happy to help them. Still have a lot of really good friends in Wayne. Many of them will be here cheering against me on Friday night. How do you, what do you uh, hope to get out of uh, Friday? What do you hope to get yeah. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this preseason. Some teams, you know, play two exhibitions against a, a non-D1. Some teams uh, go the route of playing a couple close scrimmages. We've we've always decided to do one of each. Uh, I think they're both valuable. I think there's certainly was valuable for us to play Iowa State um, and see a different style, a different system, and and I think it's also important and valuable to put the uniform on with the lights on one time. Uh, before you really start the season for real. So especially for the new guys, uh, it's a good opportunity to get out here in front of a crowd and uh, play one time in the building before it starts to count. I was, I was happy with it. It was ended up being a close game. We didn't shoot it particularly well, but uh, you know, Iowa State's defense, it's, uh, it becomes a little bit of a shock to us because of the way we defend. It's very different. And it, it was a shock to them because of you know, what they saw from our end as well. Be, compared to what they see in practice every day. But uh, there were some late game situations that were really, really good for us that, you know, it's hard to simulate in practice. So those are those times are really valuable. Uh, outside of Jason uh, Green, every you know, everybody's relatively healthy. I hope it stays that way. And, you know, his uh, he goes back to the doctor tomorrow, hopefully and gets his stitches out and we can start his road to recovery after that. Um, looking at it, uh, Florida and m what is the non-conference going to you know, the challenge your team with? Is there something specific with Florida a and that you thought might be a good challenge? Uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna provide some full court pressure, uh, maybe a little bit of zone, uh, things that, you know, you, you're going to see once conference play rolls around. Uh, but, uh, you know, the non-conference portion of the schedule, you want to grow, you want to learn, you want to get better, you want to, you know, find out uh, different areas that maybe are, that your team is exposed by the teams that you play against um, that you can hopefully clean up before conference play begins. And bottom line, you got to win. I mean, that's that's the other thing. You To build a strong resume, you have to take care of your your business, especially on your home floor. Can you pick apart the Iowa State film? Would you see your guys' response to the ball not going in or to what they're used to, I guess? Uh, you know, I felt like we, uh, you know, we, we still defended at a high level even when we weren't making shots. And, you know, as you know, you guys have heard it over and over from me. I'm, I'm into getting a good shot. You can't always control whether they go in. And, uh, but you also watch as guys grow and mature, how do they react to a missed shot? And are they able to kind of get over that play and, and, and get on with the rest of the game? And this group's mature enough to do that. You know, in particular, Trey and Baylor didn't shoot it great that game. Uh, but they did a lot of other things to impact the game and impact winning, which, you know, from our perspective, that's what we're really looking for. With Steve and Trey and Bailey, you got three guys, really good shooters, really good playmakers. What does that picture kind of look like and how they develop that chemistry? From? It's been amazing. It's really kind of happened organically from the jump, uh, you know, from the day Steven walked in the door. Um, Baylor and Trey, I thought, had great chemistry last year with the group that they were playing with. And Steven's really added to that and, you know, his ability to play off the ball and, be unselfish. Um, you know, he really has very little of an agenda for himself. Um, so those three have worked really, really well together. And it seems like it's a different guy every day. You know, one one of those guys gets nine or ten assists in practice, and the other two guys make a bunch of shots. And then the roles reverse the next day. So it's been it's been fun to see it develop, and hopefully it continues to grow. We've been talking about this team for, for months now, the new additions, you know, coming off of the Elite Eight run. And how exciting is it to have it finally be here and be able to go? Well, it's more exciting for them than it is for me. Uh, I think as coaches, you always want more time and you always want more repetition. But especially with our returners, you know, Kalk and Baylor and Trey, like they're they're ready to play. They've had enough of me and enough of practice. Uh, they're ready to play games and be evaluated against somebody else. So um, it'll it'll be exciting to you know get the lights on Friday night, get get a crowd out here, and and you know one more preparation before it starts to count on Tuesday. Now that you're kind of here. 
fired up for the season, pretty much. Um, given the fact that you've been mostly healthy about the offseason, how do you feel the impact of those Bahamas practices and games has had an impact now on what you're seeing on the floor right now? Well, what what it does is it allows you maybe to go a little bit faster, especially for the for the younger guys. Uh, there's so much learning that takes place in stopping and starting uh, early in the practices when guys are learning positioning and technique. Um, a lot of that was in the rearview mirror when we started practice, so we we could hit it a little bit quicker for shorter burst. Um, so I, I think it's maybe allowed us to move a little bit faster. Um, but now we also took some time off that we normally wouldn't take off at the start of school just to kind of give some guys time away from the game and rest their legs, rest their bodies, and get ready for the start of practice. But I like where we're at right now from a conditioning standpoint. I think we're in a good place. I think guys' bodies feel relatively good. And uh, now we just need to clean up a few things as we get ready to play. Has there been a surprise at all whether it be someone to play or you know, prop, probably, uh, I was just talking to my staff about this the other day. You know, we, we've we had some practices that are better than others, but through 24 practices, we really haven't had a bad one, which is, I don't know that I have ever been able to say that uh, in my 30-plus years as a coach. Uh, so, you know, and that's, that's attributed to the leadership on our team. You know, Kalk and... Trey and Baylor and Steven in large part, they're going to determine how the practice is going to go and they're going to get it back on the rails if it goes off the rails. And they've been able to do that and collect their collective leadership has been outstanding. Uh, but that's probably the biggest surprise. And then, you know, there's the egos on this team is there aren't a lot of them. And you've talked to these guys and, you know, they're about winning. They're about the right stuff. Um, and I think it, you know, we understand it could be a different guy on any given night. Um, but uh, we have to play together if we're going to be successful. And this team's bought into that. Back up. Oh. Mitch Bowers, Brooklyn, with Ashford. Where's he? Where's he right now? You think he's teaching him defense? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hope they're. I, I hope they're shooting. I hope Mitch is working on the shooting. Now, actually, I joke with Mitch. They were doing some defensive drills the other day, and I said, "You're teaching him defense, really? That's where that where that's where this is gone. I guess it's do what I say, not not as I did. One of those deals. Uh, but Mitch has been terrific. Uh, the guys absolutely love him, and you know he's been great for me. Anytime you can have a former player um, that. It's not playing for you now, and you, you have a great relationship and friendship. Uh, you know, he can challenge some of the things that I've done for a long time that I assumed everybody was good with, uh, and he's been able to, you know, take a stand and say, Mac, you know, why are we doing this? Is this Are we doing it because you've always done it, or are we doing it because it's the best thing for our team? Uh, so I've appreciated his him being candid with me, uh, but he's been an you know, absolute home run hire for us. Well, first game for you in a Creighton uniform. It's going to be an exhibition, but how does it feel? What's the mentality going into it? Yeah, you know, it feels great coming out here in the CHI, getting the first few practices under our belt. It's been super fun, and you can already imagine the environment and the atmosphere that's going to be in here. And, you know, the mentality is to, to play the way we've been playing in practice, you know, very unselfish, very opportunistic, and uh, very disciplined on defense. And so that's kind of the mentality is making sure that all these things we've been practicing now for about, you know, 30 different days, you know, putting it out into the product on the court. So that's kind of the mentality going into it. What do you hope to get out of this exhibition game? Not personally and as a team, too. Yeah, you know, personally, I think that I'm looking forward to just playing with, with the team. You know, we played in the Bahamas, and so I think I have, you know, as a transfer, a little leg up on, you know, not having that experience. And so personally, you know, looking forward to just playing with the guys and seeing how we, uh, you know, how we react when the popcorn's popping and the lights are on. And, you know, as a team, I think we're just, you know, looking forward to competing against somebody else and making sure that we can, uh, you know, learn from it and, uh, you know, play our best basketball. How's the uh, chemistry with that first five going as you guys get really closer to it, it matter? Yeah, you know, I think it's coming along really well, and I think that just the way that, you know, so many guys on that, uh, on, especially in that first unit and on the team can shoot it, I think that it allows a lot of opportunities for spacing and confusion, especially in transition. And so I think that, uh, you know, this team's coming together really well, and I think that we have a lot of fun playing together, which is something that's, you know, unique for some teams because, you know, some teams aren't as uh, privileged to be able to say that they, you know, enjoy playing with their teammates. But I think every guy on this team can can attest to that, that we do. And so, you know, the chemistry's coming along really well, and I'm really looking forward to it.
you feel like it's kind of important this preseason to, no matter what happens on the court the first few games, not to get too high, not to get too low? You know, it probably won't be as good as you think, and maybe not as bad as you think. You just kind of keep an even keel at least until you get through some, you know, first few games. Yeah, you know, I think there's definitely some elements to any season to where, you know, you got to focus more so on what you can control rather than, than the outcomes. And I think that this team and, you know, under Coach Max's leadership and all the coaching staff has been great about, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, it's never too good as it seems, it's never too bad as it seems. But, uh, you know, as long as we're controlling the things we control, communicating clearly um, and making those multiple effort plays that we're going to be able to, you know, be in a lot of ball games and uh, hopefully the results will be, uh, you know, that of the product and the work ethic that we've put in throughout this preseason and throughout the season as well. Did you uh, learn anything about this team from your close scrimmage and anything that you're hoping to get answered maybe for uh, Friday? Yeah, I mean, I think that we learned that, uh, you know, we're able to uh, be in a lot of games with the way that we can shoot the ball. And then even as well when uh, when we don't shoot the ball well, figuring out ways to uh, to be successful. And I think that this team, you know, it's it's going to be clear that we have a lot of offensive firepower, but the question is going to come down to can we guard and how well can we guard and can we guard at the elite level that we need to. You know, we have specific individual players who are very elite at defense, and so, you know, can uh, can we use them to our best abilities to also help everybody else? And I think that that's coming along really well, and it's been a lot of fun to see how, you know, we're competing on both ends more consistently every single day in practice, and I think that's just going to pay, you know, huge dividends when the season comes around. You can put your analyst cap on. How do you assess the interchangeability of you and Trey and even Baylor to a degree? And just being able to initiate offense in flow in more situations. Yeah, you know, looking at it from a numbers perspective, I think that, uh, you know, our points per possession probably don't change much no matter who brings the ball up. And I think that's something that, you know, as a player I love personally, you know, being able to play on the ball and make decisions and reads, but then also being able to space the floor and know that, you know, when guys get into the paint, I'm ready for a kick out three. And, you know, just the amount of open three point shots that, you know, I've been able to get with this team is something that I'm super excited about because I think that's something where, where I can excel. And then also, you know, we have so many different weapons on the ball and off the ball that it just makes offense super easy. And so that's been something that's super fun. Two more for Steve. What are your Halloween plans? Uh, Halloween plans? Gonna go probably watch uh, Coco with the wife and uh, pass out some Halloween candy. That's the that's the plan so far. Nothing too crazy. So, candy of choice is uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. That's uh, that's my vice for sure when it comes to Halloween candy. All right, go ahead. Questions for Mason. Mason, what do you guys want to get out of Friday? What's the goal? What do you hope to see? Um, honestly, just a pretty good team uh, chemistry. Really, I mean, we just gotta make sure we're all clicking on everything. Just. Uh, Make sure we really got it's working together for real. What about you personally? Um, honestly, for me personally, um, just uh, just make sure I go out there and work hard and everything. Make sure I uh, help the team win as much as I can. How do you hope to fit in with uh, the first group? How do you hope to come to the things they do well and enhance some of the things they do well? Uh, create more space for the uh, for everyone else to be on the driving lanes. Uh, since uh, we don't have art anymore. Uh, it's kind of we need someone else to drive. So if I have some more space, we can have a uh, Baylor and Trey be able to get downhill more. And if I am in the corner, it'll help everyone else be able to get downhill easier. How much you looking forward to kind of taking over this role? The fact that you kind of waited your turn now and now it's kind of your time to shine. What are the emotions you're feeling like? Because you're kind of a go-to player this year. Oh, it's definitely exciting. Uh, but I definitely got to stay grounded because um, it's a team game and everything. So uh, staying grounded, but also being excited for the role for sure. Not putting too much pressure on yourself. Too much just... <laughs> uh, I'm kind of used to it. I mean, I've had it my whole life. You know, play. I played in high school a lot. Played a lot of good players, a lot of big players. So it's kind of just a whole entire life preparation. Being able to prep for this, I've been kind of doing it my whole life. So ready for it. Or guys like Isaac and Jason, like pushing you guys. I know all of you kind of getting time mm -hmm. before. Just you know, yeah. What, what is that competition like? Has been healthy. Kind of Oh yeah, no, it's definitely been fun uh, having all of us uh, being able to compete for the spot. Uh, it's making everyone else better, so it's making us better and making everyone else better, so it's definitely been good for us.